All right, so we're here again near beautiful Sedona and we're having a tour today of an amazing Class B camper that I want to show you. All right, say hi to Hunter and Sarah. Hello. Nice to meet. And you got two more dogs. We got Chloe here. Chloe is a little bit uh, vocal. Yeah, and then and Pip is actually, that one's a friend's dog. And okay. She's Peaches. She's just traveling with us for a short right. time. Right, and then there was a little poodle. And then Pip's hanging out with the neighbors. Okay. Because they have food. Cool. Well, the reason we're here is because you got this uh, awesome Class B. And I uh, haven't seen one in the wild yet. I've seen them online. And uh, so this is a Canadian brand, I understand. Yes. Islander RV, Langley, British Columbia. So do, do you know more about it? Should I, should I say something about it, what I know? You should say what you know, because I kind of have a feeling it's more than what I know. So it's Canadian built. It's uh, um, built on a, a Dodge Ram. And they're a little bit older. I think they went out of business or changed their business model but they were building them in the, in the 80s and 90s and uh, they built like a tank. If I was in the market for Class B, this is what I would look for. So let's take a tour. Come on in. Okay. Watch your head, it's a little low. All right. Here we are. Wow, look Here at that. It is. See, it is a full, RV, but it's just everything is smaller. Yeah. But it can almost stand up. I can stand up here where the um, where the bed area is. Yeah, I think and six foot is about where you can pull yeah. walking up in the rest of the area. There's a full dinette in here. Um, there's a pretty sizable fridge. Normally, Class Bs have small fridges, and this is a rather large one. And then there's a smaller freezer on the inside, mm -hmm. so that's really nice. Right. Um, there was a microwave here, but I took it out because I prefer dry storage over mm -hmm. a microwave. Right. Um, but everything else is how it came. I've got storage here, four burner stove and an oven. That's awesome. An oven is really a plus to have. Definitely. And double sink even in a I class B sink, yeah. with the cover so you can have prep space or use the sink. And then this whole counter is, I mean, the, there's more prep space in here than in our class C. Is there really? Yes, absolutely. You might see it later. I uh, definitely. Um, and then I'm you're... gonna let you sneak in because it's kind of tight, but I have a full uh, bathroom, full -on bathroom in there. Right. Yeah. That's another plus on these. Um, yeah, it's a wet bath, but it's so good separated that um, the toilet will probably rarely get wet. Yeah, that is amazing. And you have a door that you can close. So if you have guests, uh, you have that privacy. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. And then um, the dinette does become a bed. Um, and if I have friends come stay with me, I will make that bed for them. But yeah. I prefer to sleep up yeah, and in that's above cab bed. That is the real plus of the Islander Class B. Uh, this is actually a usable over cap bed um, that doesn't make you feel claustrophobic. No, I can and turn in the middle of the night and pull my covers over my shoulder without hitting my elbow on the, on the right. ceiling. So and then really you got nice. that skylight. Huge plus. Yeah, and as you can see, there's no windows on the front, so that makes it also better for like water tightness. The whole roof, as I understand it, is one piece fiberglass. Yes, I do have these. the lower windows. But um, it's on the side. They are yeah. on the side, so no. Yeah, so that's like in, in a lot of class C's and class B's that have the window in the front, they start to leak, particularly when you're driving in mm -hmm. wet weather. The seals just get worn and then water gets in and then they get ruined. And because this is a full fiberglass, even if it leaks, it won't deteriorate. Right. So that is fantastic. And speaking of fantastic, there's a fantastic fan right here. 
And then you also got like a good amount of storage in here. Yeah, I use it for the dogs and for my personal stuff uh -huh. and for more food storage. And also like really beautiful designed here with, um, you know, your personal touches. Yeah, really there used like to be it. a TV here. I mm -hmm. tore that out because I don't watch television right. and the basket was much more useful for food storage as well. Absolutely. And a lot of cabinets down here so i would say and probably even storage under the seat seats there is there like uh, water tanks water tank i have a 20 gallon water tank under this seat mm -hmm. um i store my three batteries here oh the, um yeah there's a little mm. room for storage on this side mm -hmm. um but i haven't used you have yet. the batteries in there and you have a solar system yeah yeah i have i added solar after i bought it absolutely yeah, and there's a hanging closet there in the bathroom area too. Yes, lots of storage. Thank That's wonderful, that. yeah. And does the coach have a generator? No. Okay, so this one, but there are some that come with a generator, I, I believe. I, this was the first one that I found and I've seen one other for sale since. I've had this rig for a year, so I don't know too much about all the options. I believe out I there. have seen them with generator as well, but uh, yeah. yeah. This one Since is not one of those. You probably have modest uh, uh, electrical needs, so your solar system is doing that since you're not using a microwave. And, Correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I do have a small inverter um, for my blender, but other than that, I just use yeah. the solar for. So, um, when, when did you start the, your full timing? I am a full timer, yes. Awesome, and when did you start? In this van, I bought this van uh, April of last year. And um, before that, I was kind of part-timing in my Prius, driving around the country um, with the dogs. But very quickly you learn that a Prius is not large enough. Prius for... is a wonderful car, but for full-timing, it's a little bit small. Yes, especially yeah. with three dogs. Yeah, yeah. So well, this is beautiful. And then you have this uh, thing in front of the cab area. I guess there's a little bit more room there if you need to. Do the sit seats swivel around? Um, they do not. My next project is to switch this seat out for something that does swivel. And uh, this distinctive cap over area that's higher than other class B's. Okay, uh, you got, what's that, like a outdoor um, entertainment center or something? Or um, down hose? here is With an outdoor shower. 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 Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, that's my water heater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's walk around maybe the front. Yeah. So it's a Dodge. They make, they make good engines. And uh, how long is it? Like 19 feet? It's a 20 footer. 20 foot, yeah. Yeah, there's the LP tank. And you got a furnace too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really in good shape for its age. Yeah, whoever had it, there were four owners before me. And they all took really good care of it. And even the ladder, so you can easily go up there and uh, clean your solar panels yes. and stuff. Sometimes I'll go up the ladder, sometimes I'll just sneak up from the bed and yeah, climb yeah. onto the roof from there. Was that the design on the spare tire, was that there or is that something nope, you put? that was added. <laughs> That's nice. Did you add it or? A friend of mine made it and, uh -huh. and then we put it on. It's nice. Thank you. Good, cool design. So thank you so much yeah, for the you. tour and uh, I hope to see you again on your travels. Oh, that would be great. I look forward to it. Okay, bye. Happy.